there's a not so secret secret that your favorite creators are using to keep you hooked in their content. In fact, the secret is so simple that when I tell you, you might get mad at me and then you might get mad at yourself. Whenever we look at successful creators, whatever that means to you, we notice a pattern of things that they do. And today we're gonna to be using my boy Valandis as an example of what that looks like. So the first thing that they do is tell stories. If we go to Valandis' YouTube channel, you'll notice that early when he started really gaining traction, most of the videos were him bringing us around with him while he took pictures. The thing that made him stand out was the stories that he was telling in those videos. The stories that he was telling included a wide range of topics, from the stories of the photos themselves, the stories of things going on in his life, the stories of the people that he was working with or hanging around. All of these stories were so wide and vast and different that they drew you into the content. This mastery of storytelling is what hooks you into their content, but it's also the secret that keeps you interested in them as people, which makes you return video after video after video. So now that we understand storytelling, there are two more things that I wanna cover. The first is the what, and the second is the how. You can't deny the rise of faceless channels either on YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or any of the other platforms. But there's something that these channels cannot achieve, and that is the connection point between the person watching and the person making the content. Essentially, those channels are building community based on an idea, not around a person. While those channels can flourish and rack up views and subscribers and comments, they're not really connected. You will never be connected to that specific account. And so the best thing that you can do to build that connection is to be in the content. When I say that, I don't mean just be the director of the content or be the storyteller of the content. I mean, actually immerse yourself into the content so that you become a character in your own content. If we're sticking to my Valandis example, there are several instances of him sitting, facing, talking to the camera like this. But the videos that really capture you and bring you into the story show him in his element, wielding a camera, communicating with models, communicating his ideas, and doing his actual craft. These videos specifically paint him in a different light. They tell his story from his perspective, and he goes from just becoming an educator or someone who takes pictures to someone who is completely relatable in situations where you need to take pictures or where you want to develop this hobby. Seeing him in action makes these stories so much more real and believable because it's not just someone telling you what to do, but they're actually showing you how to do it. Being on the other side of the lens really brings the story to life. And this is true whether it's a YouTube video, a TikTok, or an Instagram reel. Talking heads are nice to get your point across, but becoming a character in the video takes things to the next level and is a secret trick that many successful creators use to keep you coming back and hooked into their content. So now that you know the secret, I'm gonna tell you how to achieve it. There are two main ways that beginner creators get this accomplished. One involves a tripod, the other involves another person. If you're more of a solo creator, you're gonna need something like a tripod. With this, you'll set the camera up, hit record, and go do your thing. This normally works if your task doesn't require intense focus for long periods of time. In this example, what you'll do is hit record, do your thing for three to five minutes, and then change the camera angle. If for some reason your task takes longer than that, my recommendation is to create a time lapse. That way you can focus for however long you need to and the camera will create a nice visually appealing video of you doing your action. On the other hand, if you're someone who's more collaborative or you work with a supportive partner or friend, you can have them record you. Doing this can be fun as it brings in another person into the creation process, but it also could add another level of interest as a person holding the camera can move with you 
and walk with you and create another visual level of interest into your video story. And now that you know the how, it's up to you to get better at storytelling to keep people coming back. A nice visual hook can grab someone, but your story will keep them coming back. And the best way to do this is through practice. So keep practicing making your videos, keep practicing telling your stories, and eventually you will get better if you mix your storytelling along with these visual concepts. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.